this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And so, you know, so you're going vegan then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, vegan? These interactions of mine are meant to educate and train other vegan activists like myself. These interactions are not perfect. It's a constant evolution. My videos are for you vegans to critique me and help me improve my interactions. And hopefully these videos are also for you to learn from my interactions, to encourage you to do street activism because it works, as you can see. All right. So I'm showing the behind the oh scenes. No, no, if it's not good enough for your eyes, how, how come it's good enough for your stomach, all right? Okay. So if, if you're paying for this... What I gather from the few minutes I've trimmed from this second live stream, double whammy, is that there is a third woman on the far left but doesn't speak English much. This woman, turned vegan, has a natural vocal reaction to the truth shown on Marcus's screen. We've all heard of fight or flight. Well, to vocalize is a warning to others as well as self-comfort. The third freeze is for some reason left out of the phrase. Near the end, she admits she was a meter for addiction purposes, lured by taste. Even after meeting Cubas of Truth in another country, the other woman you will hear becomes vocalized after contemplation and self-reflection. It is of course logical to be kind to other sentient beings when one has shown the reality of the torture they endure for the purpose of greed. Then I think you have the moral obligation to watch this at least five minutes. Do you agree with me? Yep. That's why I'm here. So I'm showing the behind the scenes of the industries that abuse animals, mm. like the egg industry and also the dairy industry and the meat and fish industries. Mm -hmm. So all the animals that you see here are animals that were cage-free, humanely certified, RCPA approved, etc., etc. They came from small farms, some of them. It doesn't matter where they came from. Mm -hmm. They all wind up in a sort of house. They all wind up killed unnecessarily. So when you're watching this, do you feel, I mean, it's pleasant or obviously it's, it's very unpleasant to watch, yes, for you? Some people don't care, that's why I'm asking to make sure, right? It's, it's unpleasant for, for you to watch as well? Or you're indifferent to this? To this? It's unpleasant for all of you. All right, right. So if it's not good enough for your eyes, how come it's good enough for your stomach? Can you answer this? If it's not good enough for your eyes, if I was showing how an apple pie has been made, you would not have this reaction. But I'm showing how your victims are being tortured and killed unnecessarily and you cannot even watch it. So it doesn't make any sense, right? I'm here for people to think and to get to their own conclusions and to see if they're aligning their moral values with their actions. Mm -hmm. So I guess you're, you're, this is animal abuse, right? Yeah. yeah. Are, you against, are you against animal abuse? Yeah. Yes, obviously. Of course. Is there anything that justifies animal abuse or human abuse? No, nothing justifies abusing anyone, right? Yeah. So you're against animal abusers as well, right? These people who are actually cutting their tails and their beaks and they're boiling them alive because they cannot wait for them to bleed out and they're ripping out the testicles without anesthesia. I mean, this is animal abuse, you know, mm -hmm. animal abusers are doing this. So I don't think you would be friends with animal abusers, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, why do you think uh, the animal abusers who have no intention whatsoever to stop abusing animals, especially after talking to me, why do you think they get upset with me for pointing out the suffering instead of getting upset with themselves for causing it? Is, is it a positive or a negative thing to do this? Negative, negative right? Mm -hmm. And what do you th think of the animal abusers, again, who feel attacked when I'm telling them the truth instead of feeling grateful for it? It's negative, right? Mm -hmm. It's nonsensical, yeah? Mm -hmm. They're just defending their ego, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, we have two kinds of workers working in here. We have the uh, immigrants who have no papers, they have a really hard time. Uh, the highest rates of suicides and domestic violence and drug addiction and alcoholism are these people. And then you have the other ones, you have the psychopaths who actually enjoy doing this. And so the question I'm asking you is, their bosses who pay them uh, their salaries every month, are they as guilty as them or not? Yeah, I think this. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, where the money comes from for these uh, bosses to pay yes. from you, yes? From mm -hmm. Yeah, and so how do you feel when you know this? Because maybe you never thought about this before. About you feel guilty maybe, or you yeah. don't care, or you feel no, guilty I about it? Guilty. Mm -hmm. You feel guilty, that's good. So everybody knows, and you too, that it's not necessary to eat animals, it's not necessary to eat uh, their secretions, eggs and dairy. I'm vegan, I'm not dead. You have 88 million vegans in the world, you have vegan athletes, you have vegan bodybuilders. And you have athletes who don't care about this, but they choose to have a whole plant-based diet to increase their athletic performance. Mm -hmm. So it's not, not, uh, you know, it's not necessary and it's even uh, you know, not very healthy. So why choosing to <laughs> eat these uh, poor animals? So if it's not necessary, then it becomes morally unjustifiable to do this, right? No. Yes? No, you don't think so? No, 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 of course. 
uh, well, maybe they understand the question. If it's not uh, necessary to eat animals and to mm -hmm. eat eggs and dairy, mm -hmm. then it, it becomes morally and ethically unjustifiable to do so, right? Do you agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay, yeah. all right, all right. So why do I have the impression, and I hope I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong, that after talking to me, you're going to slice the throats of innocent, defenseless baby animals again, and this time you're going to do it intentionally, and you're going to do it maliciously, because you know exactly where your victims come from. Mm -hmm. So why choosing to be cruel? Because this society was built about this project. The society has nothing to do with you. You, you can choose right I can now. Choo I can you can choose, choose not to abuse animals. things about that, uh, we think it's normal to live some path like this. Mm -hmm. Like we ignore what was before, mm -hmm. some eating food or right. fast food. I understand. Or, exactly. Mm, we are eating. Um, inside this society, some fast foods uh, or some things that are not uh, um, concentrating some pain like this. We are ignoring this. We are concentrating to our life, past mm. lives, yeah. um, some problems that um, brings about patriarch patriarchal society or yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some fast food society, yes. some like that. But yeah. we are, um, we know about this, but. And this world is not uh, uh, allowed to be open to open spaces uh, or open sources about new ideas like vegan ideas uh, and bring some new options in foods. Well, it's very simple. If you want to stop abusing animals, you can do it right now. Mm -hmm. You don't need to think about what the other uh, other people do. Mm -hmm. You don't have no, to think no, about no, the society. Absolutely, absolutely. But society don't, doesn't bring uh, to our lives uh, some uh, decisions or some options that are better than others. That I, I was walking to some streets, uh, I was looking for something to eat, and uh, it's like some meat, 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 meat. You have fruits meat, and meat. vegetables everywhere. I, I stopped working f 14 years ago to dedicate myself to do this 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. So I have very little money, uh, some savings, and I prefer to have some savings just in case uh, people steal my equipment, my laptop. Mm -hmm. So I choose to eat from garbage bins and I eat fruits and vegetables from garbage bins. Mm -hmm. So if you choose to stop abusing animals, you'll do it. Mm -hmm. And if not, you'll find excuses. Okay. All right, do you agree with me? Yeah, so yeah, that, that's, course, you have fruits and vegetables everywhere. Mm -hmm. All right, there's no, no excuse about this. But it's uh, yes. uh, um, like uh, uh, finding some vegetables and fruits in, in raw conditions. Like if uh, I was walking in the street, I was um, glad to uh, met some foods, vegetables fr foods or vegan foods that are allowed to be eaten. Are potatoes like and legumes and vegetables and fruits and lentils uh, vegan or not? In so what's the problem? What, where is the problem? You, you find these kind of foods everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, are the cheapest know. foods? It's our condition that brings us to uh, buy some fast food. That, uh, but now you have talked to me right. and I have explained to you exactly mm -hmm. what your victims go through. Mm -hmm. And so the question I'm asking you again is why choosing to be cruel after talking to me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking this question to you now. No, no, no. It, it doesn't make sense. So therefore, are you going to eat eggs again after talking to me? No, I don't. Are you going to eat dairy after talking to me? Dairy, yeah. Dairy means uh, cheese and yog yogurts and milk. Mm, I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm going to explain to you exactly what the animals go through in the dairy industry, just in case you don't know. They rape the bulls. They place a kind of a dildo, if you will, in their asses, and they receive an electric discharge in their prostate gland so they, they can ejaculate. Mm -hmm. This is really painful. So they get the semen and they put it in the vagina of the cow. But for the cow to get pregnant, they raped her in the ass with the, the, the fist like this up until the shoulder. So the semen gets into the vagina uh, and she gets uh, pregnant. That's the method. That's the standard method of the animal industry. Even the animal industry doesn't hide this method. Uh, it, uh, they hide uh, all, a huge amount of things, like the things that you, you're watching now, but they are not hiding this method. So they're literally ripping bulls and cows. And then uh, when the cow gives birth, they separate it 
from each other, they separate them. And so the babies don't see their mothers and the mothers don't see the babies. And, and the cows, uh, sometimes they follow the, tr they always follow the truck, the van, where the baby is. And sometimes they die following the truck because they get exhausted, because cows are mothers just like you. And they suffer immensely when they separate uh, their kids from them. And so they separate them. And so uh, the uh, babies, the male ones, they are useless for the, uh, industry, so they usually kill them. But if they want to take uh, advantage of them, they place them in, s in small uh, cabins, if you will, so they cannot move and they cannot develop their muscles. So their meat is even more tender and has a certain color or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they also give them a diet without iron, so they get anemic and they do it on purpose, again, for their uh, flesh to have a, a certain look or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they cut their throats and people eat them as veal. So this is cruel, yes? Mm -hmm. And so they place machines in the cow's tits to get their milk. And that produces them uh, mastitis, which is an infection. So they have, uh, you know, they create a blood and pus. So each time you eat cheese, etc., you're also eating pus and blood. It's pasteurized, so it, it will not affect you, but it's still there. So it's not, you know, it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And so cows are also genetically modified, so that's why they, they give so much milk. And obviously they don't enjoy uh, being in that state mentally and physically. They're being abused and they're being used, and this is absolutely horrific. And when they are completely exhausted, they cut their throats, and so you eat them uh, as burgers. So the question I'm asking you is, is the dairy industry cruel, yes or no? Yes. yes? And do you think it's cruel, the dairy industry? Do you think it's cruel, the dairy industry? Mm -hmm. So why are you uh, going to eat cheese again and yogurts and milk? Why? If it's cruel. Why choosing to be cruel? That's a question that I asked you before. When you can eat anything else. And if you're so obsessed about cheese, you can have vegan cheese with the same texture, the same taste. If that is the problem. Is that the problem? Mm. That you want to have that particular texture and taste? No? Mm. So are you going to eat cheese again? Cheese. And yogurts and anything that comes from a cow? I, I honestly don't use or abuse about uh, milk or uh, stuff like I don't I don't drink for example meat mm -hmm. for example I know it's not better but I don't use to eat every type of meat I used to eat chicken you know what is the difference between one nothing, animal and another nothing nothing exactly that's what I, I'm saying like in my small words I've tried to not like consume meat every day to not consume other type of meats mm -hmm. to not using milk and stuff you know like in my own world i did something but i know it's not the same because i still meat. eating chicken i still eating fish so i still doing something bad maybe in less way but exactly so, but but uh, that was before you met me that was before i refreshed your mind about what you're paying for but what i'm asking you is from now on are you going to do the same are you going to eat chickens from time to time? Are you going to eat dairy from time to time? Are you going to eat uh, eggs from time to time? No. I don't no. think so. I don't know, I don't think so. Like now I say I don't think so because like, that image are pretty disgusting. I can you know, look back. So when you say I don't think so, you mean you will never ever uh, do that again or you might do it again someday? You might abuse animals someday again? No. And if so, why? Because every time you buy eggs and dairy and meat and fish, you're abusing animals. You're paying for this directly. The use is the abuse. Even if uh, you had a farm and you had cows and chickens and everything, you would only use them because the only reason you would have them is because they give you eggs and, and milk. So the use is the abuse. If someone, uh, you know, if you victimize, uh, if your oppressor give you everything, a beautiful house, a nice food, whatever, you would still be enslaved by that person. So you, you would rather be free. Yeah. So that's exactly what's going on. So there's no humane, you know, slaughter. There's no humane torture. There's no humane theft. There's no humane rape. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I'm asking you these questions because I want, I'm trying, I want you to be rational and I want you to see if you're aligning your moral values with your actions. Because if you're telling me you're against animal abuse, but after talking to me, you're going to be abuse animals again, it's not rational. Yeah. No, it's been uh, no, hypocritical, yeah? No, no, of course. So that's why when you say, 
I'm going to think about it, or I, I don't think I will. It's, 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 not, it's, it's like you're not really sure about it. That's why I'm asking you again. Why do you have to doubt about something so obvious? Why? Why it's so difficult to give me a direct, simple uh, answer? I don't know, because maybe you have bad habits from since ever, like since ever, you know? So maybe it's like a bit... I don't know how to explain, but it's like uh, I'm scared that I cannot like just stopping eat milk and and all this stuff, you know, day the day from another. Why not? If you were the victim instead of the victimizer, if you were the victim instead of the oppressor, instead of the assassin, uh, would it be okay for your assassin, for your oppressor, to say, "Hmm, you know what? I don't know what to do today. Uh, maybe I will not kill you today. I will only uh, cut your leg." Or I will abuse you only only on Sundays. Or maybe I'll abuse you less and less. Would you like your presser to tell you this? Or would you like your presser to say, I'm going to set you free? So why is it so difficult for you to put yourselves in the place of your victims? Why is it so difficult? Mm -hmm. We're not talking about things here. We're talking about your victims. We're talking about these animals who suffer horribly. It's time that you buy eggs and dairy and uh, fish and, and, and cheese, you know? So do you understand the importance now of the situation? It's not just things. Every time you buy these things, you're torturing animals unnecessarily. We already established before that it's absolutely unnecessary to eat animals and to eat their secretions, eggs and dairy. So why, again, choosing to be cruel when there's no need to? It's moral, morally unjustifiable to do so. So I'm going to ask you again, are you going to eat eggs again after talking to me? And if so, why? What is so special about eating ass droppings? Have you ever thought what an egg is? It comes from the ass of somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, there's only one um, hole in a chicken. It's called uh, cloaca. Everything comes from that hole and you eat from that place. It's disgusting. If you bought eggs in the supermarket and all of, all of a sudden you had diarrhea and you had to go to the bathroom and you would go to the bathroom and some of the eggs that you just bought, they dropped in the toilet uh, and they mixed with your shit, I don't think you would get those eggs, wash them and eat them afterwards. You would, uh, you would throw them throw away them. and you, you would eat the other ones still in the bag. But then you have no problem whatsoever in eating those uh, eggs in the bag when you know that they came from somebody else's ass. It doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to you. Eggs are full of saturated fats and cholesterol. Why eating something so unhealthy? But even if eggs were some very people, healthy... But, uh, hmm? Some person thinks that the eggs are uh, healthy as fuck for the person. Like eating like um, four eggs per week is like, um, wow, the perfect diet for a person. I don't quite understand what you're saying. Yeah, because they some have, people think that's healthy, you mean? Some proteins hmm. or some vitamins or some stuff that are good for the person, but we are maybe... Brainwashed. Brain brainwashed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if a cigarette, if a cigarette had protein and had vitamins, would you smoke all, uh, every day to get protein and vitamins from smoking? No, because you know smoking is bad. So if eggs are very unhealthy, even if they have protein and vitamins, why eating them? Uh, it's the food of uh, chicks. It doesn't make any sense. It's like drinking the milk of a cow. Would you drink the milk of a female cow, a dog? Would you eat the, the milk of, of a female cat? It would be nonsensical. So why eating, or, or, or drinking rather, the milk from a cow? It doesn't make any sense. Each milk is white, but it has, it is different. It's for uh, every species. You would not drink milk from women. It would be even more disgusting probably. But you have no problem uh, drinking milk from a cow. It doesn't make any sense. And it's also full of saturated fats and cholesterol. So why do you think it's so difficult to reason with me about this? Why you think you have to... Why you're not completely decided to stop abusing animals? Why? When it's so obvious. Why, why you want to abuse animals again? I don't understand this. You don't, you understand this either? No, no, no. It's like I don't want to do that. You don't want to? No. You don't want to abuse animals anymore? Do you want to abuse animals? No. no. So are you going to align, are you going to be consistent? Because if you are telling me this, and then tonight you're going to eat eggs and dairy, it doesn't make any sense, right? Yeah, of course. 
so the normal thing would be I uh, you know you should the normal thing should be we are against animal abuse therefore we will we'll never abuse animals therefore we'll never eat uh, animal products again that would be the rational answer but you're not telling me this you're telling me well I think um, you know it's not sh the, the answer is not sure why no, why, why are you doubting are about it no no we are listening to you to no you, but doubting just about because it's not like it's, not it's that doubting same, because but... yeah, doubting because it's like yes, I would say you know, and I don't want to say you no, I will not, and then tomorrow I will do it again, you know, not not because I will not think about what I see, what I see today, you know, I will still think about this. But yeah, yeah, but I understand. But why do you have to think so much about something so obvious? I, this is what I don't understand. It, because we are like we live our, our hmm. life always eating this type of stuff, hmm. and for us it's normal, and no one show us. Exactly, this, I, I understand this. No one show us this. You hmm. imagine that people are like treating animals in a hmm. good way, like uh, if you have to die for eating, you know, for like going on the meals of million persons. Yeah. I thought like in my mind it would be in the fastest way. Like I don't know, like maybe a gun and just and that's it. Okay, know? if I killed you now with a gun and I ate you afterwards, would that be okay? No, it would not. So why it's okay. okay to do that with your victims? Because we don't think that animals like not we yes, don't think like uh, in our mind we don't think that animals are have the same value as a human. You know? Even if they don't speak English, or even if they don't go to the moon, and, and even if they don't paint... Well, actually they paint, the elephants paint, I don't know if you know this. I mean, even if they don't do the things that we do, they have the same capacity to suffer, exactly. just the same. Exactly. And that's what matters, yes? Exactly, absolutely. I absolutely agree with you, and that's why I'm telling you. Like, we don't use to think about this, because in our mind, we live in a beautiful place where like just animals are not abusing in this way like mm. I didn't know they were doing all this unnecessarily disgusting thing but what if they didn't do this what if they just shot them with a the gun as you just said you you would eat them then I will be honest with you maybe yes okay and why because we always we always eat meat like yeah but that's ever. not an excuse that's not a I know an explanation I know I know, I know but that's that's what makes sense for me. That, hmm. That's my answer because it was makes sense. For right. Me. Yeah. But I want you to analyze what you say because what you say is completely rational. Even if you, even if you did something wrong for fifty years or whatever, twenty years or ten years or whatever, it yeah, doesn't. It, it, it's not a justification to do it now. If, if if I was trying to stop a thief from stealing, and he would say the same thing, it would make no sense. Oh, but you know, I've been uh, stealing all my life, so it's difficult now to stop. It would make no sense. I've been ripping women for many years. Uh, it would make no sense. Now you ask me to stop ripping my own wife? I'm used to it. I like it. I, I've been doing it all my life. You know, it would make no, no sense right. whatsoever. You're right. We just don't associate this stuff on the human sentiments, like emotions. That's the. So you don't have to love your victims in order to stop abusing them. I'm not no, racist, no. and that doesn't mean I have black friends necessarily. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't have to feel the way I feel when I see this. You just have to agree with me that this is wrong. Mm -hmm. And if this is wrong, and you're financing it three times a day unnecessarily, 365 days a, a year, the normal thing for you to do would be to stop doing it. Mm -hmm. And there's other issues uh, like environmental and also health issues, but I'm not here to talk ab about health and the uh, environmental impacts because everybody knows by now that uh, this is uh, the main cause of environmental destruction. So this is not a good reason for people to stop abusing animals. The environment, the future of their own kids, their own health, people are like this, irrational. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to make people stop being irrational for, uh, for, uh, you know, for once. So I have the impression your friend doesn't care about these things. That's why you're not mm -hmm. listening, yes? You, you don't like this, right? I don't speak very uh, English. Ah, okay. Uh, what, what language do you speak? Italian. Italian. Mm, I don't speak Italian. <laughs> but you can translate everything yeah, to her later, absolutely, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Absolutely, we will. Do you understand why... I don't understand that. I understand. So. No, no, no problem. No, I didn't read. Okay, okay. No, no problem. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, do you understand why I'm so insistent about this? Do you understand why I'm asking you over and over no, and over again? No, 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 why no, choosing no, no. to be cruel? Because you'll probably never talk to another activist in your lives. No. So maybe this is the only maybe opportunity. Yeah, maybe this is the only opportunity you have in your life to do the right decision. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll, you know, if if, if I'm not being uh, very insistent, you'll say, okay, okay, you're right, you're right, okay, bye. No, it's not, it's not enough. No, 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 
No, no, you're you're right, of course. So what is it? What is it? Maybe the taste. You you, you think you're you're um, addicted to the taste of your victims? Yeah, is that it? Yeah. The taste. Okay. Addictive taste of yeah. this food. Yeah. Kind of food. So what do you think of the of the following quote? Civilized people, uh, evolved people, they require more than sensory pleasure to justify their actions. Mm -hmm. What do you understand uh, this thing or not? Mm -hmm. uh, Imagine a farmer chickens and goats, okay. which are, they, 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 they actually do it, m many of them, right? Mm -hmm. They are far away in the mountains. And so um, what if these people said to you, it's okay because it feels good, so I can justify it. So are you telling me it's okay to torture and kill animals because it feels good, because they taste good, because their cadavers taste good? That's exactly what you're telling me. Yeah. Basically, so that's why the quote says that evolved people, civilized people, sensitive people, decent people. That's why we just yeah. don't associate this stuff, you know, like we don't use to think about this. It's something like pretty easy to understand, but you know, like sometimes we, yeah, sometimes we don't stop to think, to think about things, mm -hmm. you know. That's why I'm here for you to stop. Yeah, because like yeah, you're yeah. saying that and I'm feeling stupid because like it makes sense. Like I'm just mm. literally mm. paying people mm. for abusing animals. Mm. Mm. So the taste thing, uh, you agree about this? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely unjustifiable to torture and kill animals just for because torture. their cadaver stays good. Mm. It's horrific. It's, it's psychotic. Yes, mm. Mm. when you can eat anything else. So I don't know if you know, but you have vegan cheeses nowadays. You have vegan eggs. You have everything yeah. in a vegan. Uh... Mm -hmm. But I think it's not necessary to eat the replicas. I think it's, to me, it's absurd to copy veins and blood and muscles and tendons and hearts and livers and ass droppings. Yeah, For me, it's 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 crazy. It's it's not it's it's nonsensical to me. But if you're that obsessed and attached to those uh, textures and those. Um, tastes then you can have the replica of everything mm -hmm. and you can do it uh, at home you can cook it yourself you don't have to buy the expensive uh, replica the in a supermarket or whatever mm -hmm. and pay one euro or two euros more for for the same uh, you know for the for a vegan uh, tortilla for instance mm -hmm. an omelette right you can you can have you can cook it at home mm -hmm. as easy as that so I'm going to ask you again, uh, are you going to abuse animals after talking to me? Are you going to eat eggs no. and dairy and no. fish and meat again after talking to me? No. Are you sure? Yes? We're trying to uh, choose some other options hmm. that are... But there's a difference between trying and doing it, you know? Mm -hmm. You can say, okay, I'm going to try to rape my wife less. I'm going to try to, to beat my dog less. One thing is trying and one thing is... Oh, okay, I'm going to stop it. beating my wife. I'm going to stop beating my dog. I'm going to stop raping my wife. So are you going to stop doing it or are you going to try to stop doing it, which is different? Stop it. Stop it. You're going to stop it and you? You're going to stop it for sure? Mm -hmm. So I would like you to explain to her everything. Yeah, 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 of uh, course. <laughs> because I don't speak Italian, so... No, 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 problem, okay. no problem, we are we'll working and uh, talking But I guess, you, I guess she understands yeah, that this is wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, this is wrong. <laughs> She's, you're paying this. Yeah, 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 thank you. And so... You know, so you're going vegan then? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're going absolutely. vegan? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you live in Barcelona? Okay, okay. So, would you like to join my activism? I'm the organizer of Anonymous for the Voiceless mm -hmm. in Barcelona and Girona. It's an international organization for the animals. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this all over the world. I'm doing this at night, as you can see, and I'm doing it solo. Uh, but yes. uh, we do it with we, we do it with other people usually. So would you like to join? This is called the cube of truth. We get together a few people and we form a cube, a human cube with a mask and, and with a laptop. That's why it's called the cube of truth. Would you like to do? Would you like to do this kind of activism from time to time? Mm. Talk to people and yeah. you like to do that? Yeah. All right. So take the picture of this, yeah. which are some. Uh, QRs. Here you have the QR of what's wrong with eggs and dairy is scary. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I want to make sure I want to make sure that you know exactly what what's behind dairy and eggs. Mm -hmm. Even though you said you you want to go vegan, but I want to have these videos and show. And this is another QR, which is the essential videos. You have plenty of other videos. And I'm going I'm going to give you my phone number just in case you want to yeah. join my activism as well. Sure. And in Italy. The best activists are in Italy, as a matter of fact, in Italy are the best activists. Uh, there are many chapters in Italy, 
-hmm. of Anonymous for the Voiceless. And it would be great if you could jump. Oh in yeah. Milan. Mm -hmm. Please take the picture of my phone. It's actually very important for me that people that go vegan after talking to me, it's important that they contact me because I want to count exactly how many people went vegan at the, at the end of the year. And this is because I want to incentivize other vegans to do this kind of activism. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of vegans, they think they're doing enough by, doing, by being vegan and it's not enough. No, so this is why it's so important vegan. for me to contact you. You went vegan today. So, you know, if you send me a WhatsApp now, mm -hmm. I'll be able to, you know, take no, you no, into. Thank you. And, and you want my number, or she's going to give it no, to, no, to you? I have it. Would you? I don't want to be a pain in the ass, but would yeah. you please send me a, a WhatsApp now, just yeah. to make sure? Yeah, sure. Because I met some people after meeting them, after veganizing them, mm -hmm. and they said, "Oh, I didn't send you the WhatsApp because I lost my number, uh, my phone number, whatever." There's always some, something happening sometimes. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. So you say, "Hello, I'm the vegan, the vegan Italian." Mm -hmm willing to join my the, your cubes your your activism and so I'll remember marcus nice to meet you nice to meet you thank you for spreading things. thank you for thank listening you so much. Thank you for you, i already sent you, you send me a, a message yeah, i already sent you okay. all right i'll send you the link of the anonymous for the voices barcelona group okay so you'll be able to join it as well so it's, sure. it's going to be okay. official so to speak okay, okay. Thank, thank, you so thank you so much thank you, thank you. Have, a thank you. have a good night thank you thank you thank you so much bye bye Okay, this is a live stream. I just veganized two women and nobody's watching.